afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to Occasional Outlaw. I'm Jeff. I'll be your host today. I'm going to take some notes. Got a couple of videos I'm looking at today, trying to learn my way through the history of the AFL up to the current AFL, the state of things, and maybe get this done in time for some playoffs. <laughs> this is the history of the AFL, the teams, 1897 to 2019. Let's check it out first, and then I'm going to look at some rivalries next. The AFL began life as the VFL, or the Victorian Football League, back in 1897. The inaugural season featured eight teams, all located in one state. Carlton Blues, Collingwood Magpies. So I did know that. I saw it in the comments. You guys gave me a lot of info, like uh, where this all got going. Victorian Football League. The AFL began life as the VFL, or the Victorian Football League back in 1897. The inaugural season featured eight teams all located in one state. Carlton Blues, Collingwood Magpies, Essendon Bombers, Fitzroy Lions, Geelong Cats, Melbourne Demons, South Melbourne Swans and St Kilda Saints. All of which are still a part of the AFL in 2019 in some shape or form. In 1908, the VFL expanded to 10 teams, with Richmond Tigers and University joining the league. While Richmond have gone on to become one of the biggest clubs in the AFL, University left the VFL just six years after they entered, finishing last in every season from 1911 to 1914, and losing 51 consecutive games. The VFL expanded again in 1925, go to. with the addition of the Footscray Bulldogs, Hawthorne Hawks and North Melbourne Kangaroos, taking the total number of teams to 12. Incredibly, the league went unchanged for the next 57 years, but the 1980s and 90s saw a drastic period of change and evolution. In the early 80s, those in charge of the VFL were looking to expand outside of Victoria, and with many of the weaker teams struggling financially, change was needed. In 1982, South Melbourne relocated to Sydney in New South Wales. The Sydney Swans became the first non-Victorian team in the VFL. So I was going to ask, does Sydney have a team? So Sydney Swans. Okay, so it went from VFL to AFL, and then they left Victoria because everybody was in one state. They started to expand. Five years later, the interstate expansion continued with the addition of the West Coast Eagles from West Australia and the Brisbane Bears from Queensland. And the crowd down. The AFL hoping for about 20,000. I doubt that they've got it, despite perfect weather. Not a bad kick. Oh, Harris has done it. The Bears get that first goal in VFL football. And what a great start for them. Brisbane. With three non that Western football team, is that Perth? So is that a Perth team uh, or just Western Australia? Victorian teams now in the league. The VFL changed its name to the AFL, Australian Football League, in 1990 to represent its more national status. Further expansion occurred in 1991, with the first team from South Australia, the Adelaide Crows, joining the AFL. Well, it just makes sense to me, and I, this is an outsider point of view, obviously, um, but so Victorian Football League, when everybody's in Victoria, fine, I get it, but now that you expanded across the whole country in all states, well, I take that back because the Northern Territory, I don't think, has a, uh, at least they don't have a symbol of it. Um, anyway. Australian Football League makes sense now that they're all over Australia. Just from outsider looking in. 1992 saw a historic moment with the West Coast Eagles becoming the first non-Victorian team to win the Premiership. The Eagles had been a huge success since their inception in 1987, and as a result, the AFL decided to further expand with a second Western Australian team entering the league in 1995, the Fremantle Dockers. Naturally, a fierce rivalry developed between the two sides. Between the Dockers and the Eagles. So it is West Coast, not Perth. It's West Coast Eagles. I got it. And fist flying again. <laughs> just giving him the business. The left hook just took that dude down. Oh, man. By night. That guy there, he's getting ready to get, boom, he just got a left hook from number 12. By 
1996, many of the smaller Victorian clubs were still struggling financially, and with further expansion on the AFL's agenda, it was decided that a Victorian team must make way. Many possibilities were discussed, including a possible merger between Hawthorne and Melbourne, but this ultimately wouldn't pan out. It became clear that Fitzroy Lions would not be able to continue on its own, and at season's end, they merged with the Brisbane Bears to become the Brisbane Lions. The merger opened the gates for the Port Adelaide Power to join the AFL uh-huh. in 1997. Port Adelaide. from South Australia following the Adelaide Crows in 1994. Power. Much like the Eagles and Dockers two years earlier, a strong rivalry okay. was born between the Crows and Power. Crows Power. Uh-oh. An issue there. Pools and Dockers two years earlier, a strong rivalry was born between the Crows and Powell. Bell saw no further expansion over the next decade. In the late 2000s, the AFL became interested in the idea of a second Queensland based team, with the Gold Coast being the desired destination. Serious consideration was given to the idea of relocating North Melbourne to become the Gold Coast Kangaroos. North Melbourne insisted on staying in Victoria, however, so the AFL decided to create an entirely new expansion team. And in 2011, the Gold Coast Suns entered the league. The next year, the AFL expanded further into rugby league territory with the Greater Western Sydney Giants becoming the second team in New South Wales. In 2019, the AFL consists of 18 teams located in five states across Australia. The Northern Territory... ACT and Tasmania are the only states of... In 2019, the AFL consists of 18 teams located in five states across Australia. The Northern Territory, ACT and Tasmania are the only states of... The Northern Territory, ACT and Tasmania, no teams. Why is the Northern Territory and Tasmania have no teams? Paul, Mike, David, you guys know, please uh, appreciate the help in the comments. The territories without their own team. Many believe that a Tasmanian team will enter the league over the next five to ten years to win the Premiership. The Eagles have been a huge success since it. So that begs the question then. Um, so what's up with Northern Territory not having a team? So right now there's 18 teams across five states, and I know it's uh, getting in towards the end of the season. <clears throat> Pardon me. So I'm trying to get all this down best I can because I'm going to jump in and be a part of the playoffs. So i got to pick a team. I need a team. <laughs> I need to find a team for me. So I'm unbiased on what team's my favorite, so maybe I'll have to look for some kind of connection or a reason. If you guys can help me out in the comments. I appreciate that. Love the sport. I'm Jeff at Occasional Outlaw. Everybody have a good afternoon.